among the challenges the world has identified that are hindering the process of development is the marginalization of women. Women play a very important role in society and yet they have been denied the rights that are ordinarily enjoyed by men. They have been denied those facilities, property, inheritance, even senior positions in organizations simply because they are. Where does this come from? What is happening around the world globally in terms of trying to empower women? For those who had the Abrahamic religions, the marginalization of women starts from religion. When God formed Adam, he got Eve out of Adam's rib and created somebody to help Adam. This means that in the creation, the Almighty God made the woman subservient to a man. So that has continued that women tended to be subservient to men. The agenda was about men only, men who do work, men who do all these kind of things. The second aspect that tends to bring out the challenge that have women that, that create this is the biological difference. Women are weaker uh, physically. In the reproductive cycle, they bear children, they breastfeed them. So the tendency is that the man goes out to hunt, look for the food, and the woman sits at home and does the domestic chore. This has tended to leave women out of decision making and out of jobs that ordinarily men have done. Well, it's true that there are certain things that women cannot do, but it's not about management, it's not about leadership, it's not about entrepreneurship. It's about, for instance, some physical jobs that require real strength, which a man must have. So the world has socialized us to believe that women are subservient to men. In many cases, to believe that women are inferior, which is not true. Women are as good as men, and in many cases, even much better than men. Where are we coming from in terms of trying to promote women empowerment? Women perform lots of jobs in the home, which go unrecognized which go uncompensated. Women, like men, have emotions. Women, like men, can take decisions. And therefore, it is important that we are able to recognize what women can do and be able to bring them into what we call the economic mainstream. Be able to empower them, train them, give them access to finance, access to education, so that the women, too, can enjoy those things that men ordinarily enjoy. Socialization is what has led to marginalization of women. Denying them those rights that men ordinarily enjoy. Denying them positions in leadership, denying them rising up in organizations to be able to take up top positions like uh, CEOs. This is what has brought about the need to understand why women should be brought into the main economic mainstream. Women themselves have come up to fight against this. You have what they call the feminist movement. Two, governments have recognized this and many governments have come up with uh, affirmative action trying to bring women onto the table. And there are other things that have come up, like legislation. Some laws have been made to make sure that women are able to participate in decision making, in leadership, in elections, in senior positions. Even. Is it true that women are inferior to men? It is not true. Women can do equally good work, except for those jobs that require manual effort. Women can equally do very good.